Explosions in Belgorod, Russian Volunteer Corps and Freedom of Russia Legion urge not to resist. The Russian Volunteer Corps, which fighters claim to be fighting on the side of Ukraine, said it was performing combat missions on the territory of the Russian Federation and the Freedom of Russia Legion called on residents of Russian border regions to stay at home and not resist. Freedom of Russia Legion and Russian Volunteer Corps announced it on Telegram channels. On the morning of the 22nd of May, fighters of the Russian Volunteer Corps reported that they were in Russia. In particular, the fighters published a video on the background of road signs in the proximity of the settlements of Lyubimovka of Bryansk Oblast, Bezlyudovka of Belgorod Oblast and Chirovichi of Bryansk Oblast. Meanwhile, the Freedom of Russia Legion, fighting on the side of Ukraine, recorded a video message calling on Russians to fight for a Russia free of Putin. Then the Legion published an appeal to the inhabitants of the border Russian oblasts. Stay at home, do not resist and do not be afraid. We are not your enemies. Unlike Putin's zombies, we do not harm civilians and do not use them for our own purposes. Russian telegram channels publish videos and report the destruction of the Grey Vorona border crossing point. The locals published a video with a siren activated in Belgorod, while Vyacheslav Gladkov, the governor of Belgorod Oblast of the Russian Federation, said that in the morning, the Grey Voron city district was under attack. There were no injured civilians. Gladkov claims that the Russian air defense was activated and that a fragment of the missile fell into the garden of a house in the village of Antonovka. He also claims there were mortar attacks on the village of Kozinka. In the village of Gora Podol, according to him, a hay warehouse caught fire and in Graveron, shells hit the premises of a motor transport enterprise. The Russian governor said that the operational services of the Russian Federation are carrying out thorough door-to-door -door inspections. The Russian Emergency Situations Service sent out a message to the local population about the attack and called on residents of the Graveron and Shebekinsky districts to take shelter.